Hello there, welcome back to Extreme Rate YouTube channel. In this video, we will show you how to install the Extreme Rate Face Buttons Clicky Kit on the DualSense Edge Controller. Let's get the clicky tactile feedback to highlight your gaming. First, get your controller and the clicky kit prepared before the installation. Now let's start the process. Before opening the controller, pull the trigger stop sliders to the top. Remove the back buttons and push the latch to the right to release the face trim cover. Lift up both left and right levers next to each stick module. Slide and remove both stick modules out of their slots and restore the levers to its original position. Use the flat end of the spudger to pry both the R1 and L1 shoulder buttons off the controller. This may be a bit hard to pry. You can try to wiggle and lever the buttons. Next, we need to remove the back panel. Slide the end of the spudger along the left and right inner trim to release the clips that secure the panel. And turn the controller over and continue sliding along the trim to release the remaining clips. Remove the back panel now that all clips are released. Pull the lever to the left and lift up to detach it from the controller. Be careful with the tiny spring attached to the lever as it is easy to lose once detached. Then use the screwdriver to remove the nine screws from the back of the controller. And remove the two screws from the L1 and R1 button enclosures. Insert the flat end of the spudger between the front and rear casing and gently pry them apart. Use your hands to pull the rear case off of the controller carefully. If the slider plastics left in the trigger module, install them to the rear case again. Lift the upper plastic to leave space for the slider plastic and fit the plastic into place. Then slide the plastics to the top. Double check if both slider platics are correctly installed and slide to the top. Then flip the battery over and disconnect the battery from the mainboard. Disconnect both left and right rumble motor cables. and disconnect the end of the back button ribbons connecting to the main board. Hmm. 
Disconnect the back microphone cable and leave the microphone in the slot. Remove the six screws from both trigger modules. Then lift up and disconnect the ribbons to remove two trigger modules from the controller. Remove three screws, securing the middle bracket. And remove the bracket assembly from the mainboard. Disconnect the touchpad ribbon. and the microphone ribbon. Then release the tiny clips under the main board and remove it. Remove the three screws that secures the front assembly. and slide the touchpad ribbon off the seam of the front assembly. Remove the mute button. Remove the silicone pads of the action button and D-pad button and replace them with the membrane pad from the kit. Please check if the springs beside the logo button remained in place. then carefully remove the conductive film. Lift the conductive film off the aligning pins from the front and from the back. and install the Extreme Rate Clicky Button FPC. Align the holes with the securing pins and install the kit. And secure the FPC contact part to the pin in the back. Adjust the FPC position and make sure the kit is secure on the assembly.
Double check if the clicky button FPC is secured by the pins before the next step. Then line up with the clips and install the assembly to the front panel and guide the touchpad ribbon through the seam. Lock the two long screws and one short screw to secure the assembly. Reinstall the mute button. and reinstall the mainboard. Please be careful not to clamp the ribbons and snap the board down to clip in. Then reconnect the touchpad ribbon cable and the microphone cable. Turn the controller over and test the clicky feature. Then reassemble the middle assembly Lock the three screws to secure the bracket. And reconnect the cables of the microphone and the back button modules. Then reconnect the cables and reassemble the trigger modules. Make sure the cable is folded in correct direction. And reassemble another trigger module. Then lock the screws to secure both triggers. Reconnect the rumble motor cable and set the cable hook. Then reconnect the battery cable and flip to place the battery on the tray. Then push both stop sliders to the top and push the slider plastics to the top as well. Align both parts and snap down to install the rear case on the controller. Press around and snap the clips.
and test if the trigger stop sliders are working. Now lock the screws on the rear housing and note the different lengths of the screws. and lock the screws at the bumpers. Next, install the release latch. Attach the spring one side to the latch and one side to the rear case. Line up with the clips and fit it in place. Next, install the back panel. Align the both parts and snap the clips of the panel to fit it in. Reinstall both bumpers onto the controller. Release the levers. And slide both joystick modules into the slots. And then lock the levers on the left and right. Install the front trim cover and test the release latch. and put back the back buttons to finish the installation process. Thanks for watching and happy customizing. Catch you next time.